so here I have my Celestron CGM2 mount. Um, going to hyper tune this myself. Uh, <clears throat> this has been a long time coming. Uh, I mean, I had this mount probably about two years, and uh, I mean, right out of the box, there was a lot of stiction on both the deck and RA axis. Over time, I've had this about two years now. It's gotten a lot worse. Uh, I mean, the deck is just so stiff. It don't move unless you're moving it. And balancing it, uh, it's, it's near impossible. It's, it's just awful. Um, I mean, my tracking is still okay for doing planetary or lunar or solar stuff. But uh, long exposure photography is uh, it's kind of really not possible anymore. The, the guiding is just it's terrible. There's just too much stiction. I mean, and that's due to, you know, improper balancing and, you know, these motors having to work a lot harder than they should have to. I mean, it's pretty bad. So I'm going to be hyper-tuning this myself. Uh, honestly, I can't make it any worse. Anything is better than what I got going on right now. So, uh... Just want to make a short video showing you. You know how bad it is. And I mean, this should have been done right when I bought the mount. I mean, because like I said, it, it, it was pretty stiff. But, you know, after spending, you know, $1,600 on the mount, who wants to go and spend an additional $200 to make this thing perform like it should right out of the box? I mean, Celestron's uh, kind of dropped the ball on it. They're using crappy um bearings and i'm sure their grease really isn't much better you know they're not using a high quality grease i mean this uh, things are gonna wear out over time but when you get this out of the box and it's like this it's it's not good you know spending all that money so uh anyway i guess we're gonna get into it and uh i'll make another video i'll show you the before and after